Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis from Cinema Sound. We're about to show you the amazing Adobe Audition Stereo Expander plugin, which we use all the time in post. It's gonna change your religion. Let's roll. We're here in Adobe Audition, and if you've never opened Adobe Audition, I invite you to come to cinemasound.com where you can stream our awesome production of Adobe Audition 1, 2, 3, which will basically take you from, I don't know how to use Audition, I've never opened it, all the way to I'm getting great results and moving around in Audition is really easy for me. So check that out. Here we have in Adobe Audition, our timeline, three different clips. We're probably gonna be looking at the music and the gunshot. Here's the gunshot. Nice big shotgun and some loud music. Hey, I'm bad. Now these are stereo already and they sound fine, plenty wide, but what if we want to make them either narrower or wider? What would we use? You can't really use a pan knob because it's you can only go left or right or straight up and down in stereo. Well, we would instantiate the stereo expander and you can do this clip by clip by going to the arrow tool, selecting the clips that you want and going to effects and uh, stereo imagery, excuse me, and there it is or going to the effects rack under clip and effects and doing the same thing. But we want to apply this to the entire track. So we're going to instantiate this here by going to track effects, making sure we're on the correct track, stereo imagery, stereo expander, and there it is. It's a pretty simple plugin. You've got where do you want the overall sound to be panned, just like the pan knob in the tracks. And then you've got the expansion itself and then on or off. Here's what it sounds like once with, again with it off. That's the gunshot. And then with it on at 100% and center, it should sound profoundly similar, which it does. Now, if we pan it all the way to the left, it's pretty biased left, not all the way left, but biased and right, very much biased left. We'll double click and hit zero. If we make it zero here, it doesn't just mean narrow, that means mono. Now you're dead mono, you can see on the meters, that's pretty mono. We go back to 100%, and then if we go out to 200%, quite a bit wider and 300% very, very wide and mostly mono compatible. It's really, really smart and how it works, but it's really, really simple as well. Uh, let's see, 100%. Let's check out the music and see what it does with this. Again, stereo, stereo uh, material. We're gonna take it down to zero and all the way out to 300 and back. And if you're not uh, wearing headphones, this might elude you, this effect. Pretty awesome, yeah? And what you'll notice, especially in headphones, is as you get out into the higher percentages, the mono material tends to get a little bit softer, like the vocals are mono, and they tend to get a little harder to hear, which is why this isn't 100% mono compatible. But it's still an excellent, especially in, in mixing in multimedia for ambiences or other effects where you want to make them really, really wide, this is the thing that you would use. Hopefully you've gotten a lot of value out of this short video and the hundreds of other videos that we have on this channel. If so, please subscribe to Cinema Sound and come visit us at cinemasound.com and get some more value from the hundreds of blog posts and educational bits that we have to get that Hollywood production value into your production as quickly as possible. Until then, we'll see you in post. Even if you're